Hello, uh, what I am introducing today is a tool called PaleoSeal that we developed uh, in the framework of uh, uh, the Seas Change project uh, funded by the German Science Foundation. PaleoSeal is basically a, a tool that allows uh, interrogating sea level data points um, from uh, a, a large database. Um, we use uh, from uh, uh, we use the template uh, given by the whole C uh, project that, that it was funded by Inqua and led by uh, Nicole Khan at University of Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, in the archive your data uh, link of the whole C site, there is a link to uh, the whole C data workbook. Uh, this workbook contains all the fields that need to be used when defining sea uh, level data points uh, for, for the Holocene. You have a long form, uh, it's basically a template and short form uh, for sea level index points, radiocarbon ages uh, template and uh, template for, for U series. So PaleoSeal is available on uh, GitHub. This means that you can uh, directly navigate to the PaleoSeal page in GitHub and download the zip file. So the code will be uh, available to you. And uh, there are also instructions on how to um, deploy your own application. So the idea is that uh, you need to have uh, the whole C template inside a MySQL database to which you have access and to, you give access to the users. Then you fill the database with your own data and then you basically modify the, con the, the template connection that we have uh, in the line of code inside the database uh, to point to your server. Uh, optionally, you can style your web page if you can if you know how to use HTML and CSS. And finally, you can deploy your application on any server supporting PHP 7.0. Basically, uh, we have a working example of PaleoSeal, and I can showcase the main functionalities. Uh, there is uh, an introduction page and uh, an about page. There are basically two static pages where um, content can be inserted with simple HTML. And then the core of the uh, interface are a data explorer and a map application. So these two are linked one to each other. This means that if I show something on the map, it will also show up on the data explorer. Uh, let's have a little example. So um, on the left hand side here, uh, I have a, a selection tool where I can uh, uh, select different uh, things. So subregion, the type of reference, the publication year, uh, the dating or all samples that I have. Uh, these uh, categories are basically defined from the database. So uh, the database, uh, the, the interface goes inside the database and queries uh, the reference column and shows it here. And it basically, and it also shows here the number of, of points. And the very same thing is available here uh, on the right hand side in this time. So we have type, region, subregion, reference, etc. So let's start, for example, from, from the map. Uh, I want to show the data of uh, Bender et al. 2020, for example, that we collected uh, in, uh, in uh, the Spermonde Archipelago in Indonesia. So these are the data mapped by Bender et al. Uh, if I click on the map, I zoom in enough to basically see some pop-up menu with basic information about, uh, about the, the data themselves. So these are uh, the data. Now, if I just want to um, export this data, I select them. I click on the rectangle I just selected and I add them to what we call my export list. So this is added to the export list and then I can export them here, download the CSV file. It will take a second. So it's interrogating the database now and getting ready to give me all the fields that I have. So you notice that here we have lots of fields. So this is the long form of the, uh, of the, the whole C database. And you see that only some of these um, data columns are actually shown in, in the map application, but uh, everything is, is in the database. So you can uh, have everything in the database. 
but what I select on the map is also available here on the data explorer. So now I can zoom in a little bit because these data points are, I can zoom in and yeah, these data points are basically um, concentrating in one particular part of the time versus elevation graph. Uh, okay, for example, these ones. Uh, and you see that if I move my mouse and I select a particular data point, uh, the, the table be below will basically move to the corresponding record. Again, a simplified version of that. And uh, as I already added them to the export list, uh, you have these little squares here that tell you that this is added to the export list. But for example, uh, I would like to show them, to show this data together with other data from the same area, from the clerk, for example, and I can do this and I can add also these ones to the export list. So the point is that, um, in this way, with this interface, I can explore um, via a map or via a data explorer, uh, the data, Holocene sea level data, and then basically uh, make queries or sub queries and uh, export these data into a, a CSV file that can then be used as an input to, to models or to different uh, or to other different processes. Uh, this is a, a quick way to show, uh, to show data, uh, Holocene sea level data, uh, and a quick way to understand uh, uh, data sets, how we, oh. sorry, I just zoomed out too much. <laughs> anyway, uh, to show data as we, um, Okay, uh, to show data as we um, as we have them in in a database. If you have uh, um, questions, we would be happy to answer them. Uh, the best way to give us uh, uh, ideas and to ask questions is via GitHub. So we would be able to see uh, the main problems that there are with the with the. Um, uh, interface uh, and maybe uh, update the code accordingly. And uh, this is basically it. PaleoSeal is absolutely free. You can take a copy and you can modify everything you want uh, and uh, deploy it uh, on your own website, uh, or build upon it, modify the code, uh, do whatever you want with it. Uh, we just ask you, of course, uh, to reference to the original, uh, original PaleoSeal um, work if you use it. So thank you very much and uh, Enjoy this one.